Hi everyone and Merry Christmas from me and um, the Asami rats. Uh, so this is just a really quick um, introduction video because I filmed um, the actual video when I say filmed it's more kind of a slightly different style for me I've done a lot of kind of like a photo shoot with instructions on it um, and I realised I hadn't actually explained what I was going to do so you get a little bit of waffle from me. Um, I should say it's Christmas Eve here tonight so I'll be um, publishing this tomorrow um, and I'm just getting ready um, to kind of like settle the rats in for the night with their stocking with some treats in it for them to eat overnight um, but basically what this series is going to be all about and it's going to be about recycling and it's something that's particularly important at the moment um, we know just kind of like from an environmental standpoint just what a mess we're making of things let's say and what I want to kind of reinforce and it's something I, I try and do most um, Kind of 12 days of enrichment is I want to show that we can make stuff without spending a fortune because rats don't need to be super expensive we can't do a lot about the vet bills um, other than kind of breeding well and keeping them in kind of good food etc but what we can do is give them plenty of enrichment without spending a fortune so this year's theme is going to be all about assembling our own agility set and then at the end I'm going to hopefully <laughs> assuming it goes well film a video of um showing you how to kind of like use them with your rats and how to kind of train them. Um, none of my rats here have ever competed in agility, um, but I do think Juby here, who's just come to visit, um, is probably going to be a star should shows ever get back on because she just seems to get it fundamentally. Um, you can spend plenty of money on agility sets um, and that's absolutely fine and actually great to do. I've, I've got um, a, a nice agility set um, that I really appreciate and I'll show you that in the last week as well to show you the kind of thing. But that doesn't mean to say that we can't make our own. Um, and it's also quite useful. The ones we make ourselves, um, particularly I'm using cardboard in the main and that kind of thing, um, they're not going to last for ages, but they're a really good way of seeing whether you enjoy it and it's something you and your rats can get a lot out of. Um, and then if you want to, you can splash it on a proper kind of wooden, well-made one that will last you for years and years and years. Right, so that's basically going to be the theme for it. What I will say is save any cardboard. Um, you want to try and make sure you've got some decent tape. So duct tape is mostly what I use. Sticky plastic is fine. What I will say with everything that I show you as well, it's all out of cardboard in the main or things that I find around the house that's kind of like scrap. Um, but you can also use things like corrugated plastic, which would give you something that stands up to rat urine a lot better than cardboard. Um, and you could even use the same principles to make stuff out of wood yourself if you're feeling particularly handy. Um, I'm going to try and make it fairly simply. The first one today, which we're going to be looking at making this um, kind of double jump, which is just out of a little box um, and a lot of duct tape because um, I thought I'd give it a go um, trying to make it slightly more weed proof. Um, and then we'll see how that one goes. Um, so that's what we're going to make today. Um, I'm going to do it in a different style and that's in, in the main if I'm honest this year I don't have a lot of time but I still wanted to give you something to do and it's quite enjoyable for me and the girls as well um, and I, I will also have be having hopefully a litter <laughs> half the way through this which is wonderful planning on my part as ever. Um, so I wanted to do something I can do out of the rat room if I need to as well so it's basically just going to be kind of photos of each of the things step by step instructions on how to do it I'd encourage you to hit pause while you do your stage yourself because the instructions are on there and then forward it they'll be up there for five seconds at a time I had no idea how long to put them on for I'm kind of blagging it really if I'm honest I've never done it like this before um, but we'll see how it goes and hopefully that it's useful and you'll get some um, fun out of making things for your rats and by the end of the kind of session even if you only pick let's say four or five of, of the obstacles you'll have a kind of full agility set you can use and you can switch it up as well because you've got different parts. Some of these will be great for just using on free range normally without bothering with um, kind of doing agility training. Some of them will be fine to use in the cage as well. Um, just use your imagination really. For instance, this one, um, as much as it's kind of like a jump that they can use that way or that way, you can also hang it up in the cage and it becomes a handy little shelf. It won't last for ages, they'll chew it fairly quickly. But half of enrichment doesn't need to last. The enrichment comes in destroying it after all. Right, so I've waffled enough over and out and I will um, wish you all a really Merry Christmas and I hope you have a great New Year too and enjoy this series. So bye for now.